This is Vicki Woodyard, and I'm going to talk about Vernon Howard and his approach to his students. He was very tough, very no-nonsense. One of the things he said was that the soft touch just won't do. And he meant it just won't do when it comes to uh, getting rid or seeing through the false self, the ego. He said there's a false self and a true self. He spent his time lecturing on what the false self does to the individual. He rarely spoke of the true self because it is wordless. It is way above the, the, um, the mind. And he used to say he only taught one thing, but he taught it in as many different ways as he could. He was a master at not using the same word or phrase twice. He was a genius at unfolding a little story and keeping the listener on the edge of their seat wondering how this little story would end. What that meant was that he didn't fool around. What that meant was when you sat down in that metal folding chair and you looked up and you saw him sitting there with his little lapel mic clipped to his shirt and a fruit of the month box that he carried some of his papers in, that it was going to get severe. <laughs> there was a stern front coming in, <laughs> and it was going to blow our minds. And he frequently did. He hit his fist on the table and yell because he said we were protecting ourselves from the shocks that we needed to wake up. He also made sure that we were insulted. He made sure that if we gave the, a cassette tape of his talk to a family member of a friend or a friend, that they too would be shocked and they would say, what kind of a man are you dealing with anyway? You know, many walked with him no more. That's what they said about Christ. Vernon Howard was exactly the same way. He meant what he said. He delivered the blow to the ego. He never said, there, there, it's going to be all right. He, he didn't say that. He knew the human mind as well as, uh, who was the guy? Um, the guy that said to study the self is to study the way. Doggins NG. Uh, to study the self, to su study your own thought patterns, is to realize you're trapped in hell, a hell of your own making. Once you know that you're trapped in hell, you're out, just like that. Because knowing equals awareness. And awareness gives you space between two thoughts. Vernon said this, the kingdom of heaven is the space between two thoughts. Time for a breath. I have to sit up a little bit straighter and say, just for today, I'm going to watch my mind behaving crazily, and I'm not going to go along with it, because the soft touch won't do. You have to rip yourself away from yourself, per Vernon Howard. And I'm so grateful to have been his student and to be able to share some of his wisdom with you. Namaste.